With the name Dirt Coffee, you might not know what to expect, but it turns out this shop is serving up great Joe and a lot more valuable work experience for people with autism. For years, Dirt's been working out of a truck. Well, tomorrow, that all changes as it opens its first brick and mortar store. Karen Morfa went inside as they prepare for the grand grind. With a more permanent home here in Littleton, they're not only expanding their business, but their mission. Everything good starts at Dirt. Even before opening their doors, the team at Dirt Coffee is already hard at work. Everything from painting to putting away the brand new mugs and, of course, walking through the station. Hit the button and the coffee grind grinds come right into it. Daniel Boone has been with the Dirt team from the very beginning. Wearing the conductor's hat he earned as employee of the year, Boone can step into just about any role. And sometimes I could be a service of the cash register. Other times I can like be the race support over there. So you kind of do it all then? Uh, pretty much, I do. Um, I had been working with children and teens with autism, and then um, finally when they turned 18, I was working with a young man who wanted a job, and I said, okay, let's, let's go get you a job. Lauren Burgess says that turned out to be more challenging than she expected. I figured, why not start a coffee shop and employ individuals ourselves? Years of serving up coffee and a cause from the dirt coffee truck has now paid off. The nonprofit is opening their first brick and mortar store with the hopes of double the number of employees with autism. Well, it's a big change from the truck he's grown to love. I feel like I have a much, a, a, a much more space to work with here. Boone says he's ready. I am super excited. I get to serve a lot of people and, and, and deliver them big smiles. If you can't make the grand opening, there are still ways that you can help this great cause. We have all of the information online at cbsdenver.com. In Littleton, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.